In this video, I'm going to share with you my favorite seven supplements for general health, immunity, well-being and energy. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greg and I'm an online entrepreneur creating content that will help you upgrade your brain and mind performance. So if those topics interested, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. Let's talk about supplements that actually work and that can actually improve your well-being, your mood, your immunity, and that kind of things. In this video, I'm gonna share with you my favorite supplements. I'm gonna tell you why I take them, when I take them, and how you should take them to get the most out of them. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you which of those supplements should you take every single day. So if you're ready, let's just begin. Now, just before I share them with you, keep one thing in mind. If you eat super healthy, mainly plant-based diet, um, like people who live in blue zones, who live the longest and the healthiest lives nowadays, um, then you are on a good path. However, keep in mind that um, food nowadays is not as nutritious as it was before. Uh, we are under severe stress, we spend little time outside, um, then there are many different factors that influence our health, toxins from the environment, uh, different stressors and that kind of things. And because of that, it is really important that if you really want to work on a super high level, if you want to be super healthy, it is recommended adding some of the supplements uh, that we're going to talk about today to your daily regime. So which are those supplements? The first one is vitamin B12. Now I take vitamin B12 every single day because it is simply crucial for healthy nerves and blood cells. Now vitamin B12 is produced by bacteria and not by animals as some people think. Um, so no matter if you're a vegan, vegetarian or if you eat lots of meat, uh, you should consider adding vitamin B12 to your diet because even if you eat lots of meat, keep in mind that vitamin B12 gets into animals through supplementing. So those animals are actually given a supplement of an unknown quality and if I were you I would prefer uh, knowing about the quality of a supplement that I take and if you can of course you take a high quality B12 vitamin and you're good with that. Now the optimal daily dosage is between 100 micrograms to 250 micrograms per day and I usually take vitamin B12 in the morning. If you want to learn more about it there's a link up here just check out my video on that. Now another vitamin that I want to talk about is vitamin D3. I also take vitamin D3 almost every single day because it is super important for mood, for well-being and also for healthy bones. Now our skin synthesizes vitamin D3 when it is exposed to sun, so if you spend a lot of time outside, but there are two problems with that. First of all, we nowadays spend so much time inside and even when we go out we are covered, we have sunglasses, we use sun creams and that kind of stuff. Um, and this is a bit problematic. And the second problem is that many people live at higher latitudes um, and because of that they have longer winters and it's really hard for vitamin D3 to be produced uh, during those winters especially because there's so little sun and also the sun rays do not come uh, at the right angle uh, to you. So um, the production of D3 is very limited then. Um, and because of that I definitely recommend supplementing vitamin D3 now the recommended daily dosage is between uh, 1000 to 2000 international units and I usually take vitamin D3 with food. Now the next supplement that you should consider supplementing is or are probiotics. I've been taking probiotics for a very long time uh, because they're super important for several different reasons. If you have diarrhea they can help you with that but also they can lower anxiety, stress, depression and of course provide healthy bacteria in your gut system which is directly connected to your brain and because of that I definitely recommend supplementing probiotics. Now currently I take one pill per day usually in the morning on an empty stomach and this this one has about uh, 12 probiotic strains and 15 billion uh, CFU and CFU stands for count of life cultures. Now you can buy any other probiotic uh, that you want I just trust this one and, and I really really like it. Uh, by the way guys there are some links below in the description if you want to know more about specific supplements uh, if you want to buy them there are certain links below so just check them out. The next one is a very interesting supplement this is called Qualia Immune. Now I do not take Qualia Immune every single day I take it now and then when I'm under severe stress for a longer period of time or for example if I feel I could get sick um, I go with Qualia Immune because it has about well what's that 15 20 different uh, high quality compounds and in my opinion it is one of the strongest immune supplements or 
supplements for immune support on the market. Uh, it has so many effective compounds, it's really hard to find a similar quality supplement. And yeah, I do not take it every day as I said before, but when I do take it, I take about four capsules with breakfast. Now, if you want to take any other uh, supplements for immune support, um, that's good, but I trust this one. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below and subscribe to my channel. I'll be super happy about it. Reishi is another supplement that I take quite often, and I take it because it is one of the strongest supplements for immune uh, support. Now, you can find Reishi in Qualia Immune as well. Uh, a lower dosage about, I think, 400 milligrams. Yep, that's correct. Uh, and I take additional amount. I take about one gram to one and a half grams per day of Reishi. It is a super potent uh, compound, super potent mushroom uh, that has been used in traditional medicine for a very long time. And, and I really, really love it. Since I've been taking Reishi, for example, I've never been sick uh, and I'm feeling really, really well. So um, yeah, I definitely recommend this one. Um, I take it in powder form, as I said before, about one gram per day. Then we have melatonin. Now melatonin, uh, in this case, it's a synthetic version of melatonin, um, is important for high quality sleep. Actually, it helps you regulate your sleep and it also makes you fall asleep faster. So if you're under severe stress, if you had a bad day, um, if you're nervous, for example, then this is your lifesaver. I definitely recommend trying it out. It works really, really well. Now, I take it now and then, um, and when I take it, I take about two to three grams of this one. In this case, this is from Onit. Um, it, it's just a spray, um, and I just use it, um, like I spray like six times, and that's it. And I usually take it about five to 10 minutes before sleep. So the next uh, supplement that I recommend taking is... Well, anyway, the next supplement that I recommend taking is Performance Lab Sleep. Sadly, I don't have it here right now, but Performance Lab Sleep is my go-to sleep supplement that doesn't have synthetic melatonin. It only has a natural source of melatonin, but it has many other really effective compounds. Uh, including magnesium, for example. Now, I take it quite often, a couple of like two, three capsules per night, about one hour before sleep, and it really helps me fall asleep, and usually I sleep much, much better. So my deep sleep is longer, and I feel more refreshed in the morning. A great alternative to performance lab sleep that I have here is Qualia Night. Um, that's from the same brand as Qualia Immune, obviously. Um, but yeah, um, Qualia Night is more as a sleep support supplement, so it helps you achieve better sleep in general, um, but it doesn't make you sleepy or whatever, whereas Performance Lab Sleep is more as a sleep sleeping pill or, yeah, well, it helps you fall asleep faster um, and it has a bit stronger effects in my opinion, but both supplements are really, really good. And I do combine Performance Lab Sleep with melatonin now and then. Um, whenever I need uh, to fall asleep faster. If you want to read more about Performance Lab Sleep or other supplements, there are links up there, so just check it out. So which of those supplements do I recommend taking every single day? Definitely vitamin D3, take a higher dose in the winter and take a lower dose during summer, obviously. Then there's vitamin B12. You should definitely take it every single day, no matter if you're vegan, if you're vegetarian, or if you're eating tons of meat. Then um, I do recommend taking probiotics every single day. They're so important and it's really hard nowadays to keep your gut healthy. So that's why um, take them every single day. And last but not least, I do recommend taking Reishi every single day. And I take it um, because it is such a strong supplement for your immune system. I really, really love it. And I, I have such great results with it that I recommend to every single person. Uh, it's really so good. Now, if you want to specifically boost your brain power, have better memory, have more focus, be more productive, then there's another video I prepared for you with the best brain boosting supplements on the market that I take every single day. Uh, there's a video up here, check it out. And um, yeah, I'm sure you're gonna learn about some amazing supplements that will help you boost your brain power. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you learned something new. Don't forget to follow your inception, subscribe below, and I hope to see you soon again. Take care.